Hey all, this is part four, and we're going to be removing a property from an object, and that's as simple as using the delete uh, operator. So we're going to grab an object, send it over here. There's the version that I just completed because I found out there was an error in the test, um, but I fixed that error, so hopefully we're going to be in good shape at this point. Uh, here's our object, delete.cio. This is the exact name of the key, so if we run this, it'll get rid of this line four. Uh, we could also wrap square brackets and quotes around the exact name of the key, and this is going to work the same way. Uh, just in case you're curious also, when I rerun the console each time, it essentially deletes everything that we did previously. So you want to keep in mind that this isn't working because the delete operator worked last time, it does it afresh each time. Uh, again, if we put brackets around CIO but with no quotes, uh, it's not going to work because it's going to think that CIO is, an, is a variable and it's not going to be able to find where that's defined. So as you can see, it's a reference error. CIO is not defined. So the way we get around that is either quotes in brackets or dot notation. So let's talk about some lunch orders and a mistaken lunch order. Key of the property or the key of property be removed is spec one in quotes. We say delete name of the object, name of the key. When we run that, we'll see that we have successfully deleted our, um, well, the, the incorrect property. With that in mind, we're going to complete a function that takes in two parameters, an object and a key, removes the property located at the input key from the object, and returns the object. Your function should use the delete operator to remove the property at the given key from the input object, then return the object. Below are examples of the code running. Assuming that you will have completed the described function, remove a property. So with this, let's go ahead and copy the function stub, we'll copy our test cases. Removing the property at the given key from the object is going to be the delete keyword with a space and then name the object at the key where we want to delete a property. And then we'll return the object. OBJ is not what we want. We want object. And this one looks good. And so does that one. So we're almost there. Let's go ahead and copy this and put it back in the input window. And that sautés our spinach. Excellent work. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the next one.